All right, let's do this. Uh, we've been telling you last week and this week that we have a big announcement today regarding Ragbri, the uh, big celebration coming into Fairfield on J- July 26th for the overnight stay. I think that's the fourth time they'll be in town, fourth or fifth time they'll be in town. And we have in the studio Dennis Lop. He is the, uh, what, uh, what is it, uh, publicity chair? Correct. Publicity chair for Ragbri. And the talented Josie Hannes in the studio. And we're going to make an announcement today regarding the, this year's theme and logo. And uh, someone asked this question, how do you do a logo on the radio? Do we know? <laughs> <laughs> well, through the modern age of technology, you also have a website. Oh, that's so, right. We so have the big, we'll w- go, we have the big www.internet web thing, don't we? Correct. All right. So uh, first of all, um, talk, Dennis and uh, Josie, maybe talk a little bit about the uh, process that you went through to come upon a final design and theme. We don't want to reveal it yet, but uh, talk about that process. It was exhaustive and labor intensive and and maybe some hair pulling and some fisticuffs now, really. (laughs) Um, We really started just kind of brainstorming and trying to narrow it down to things that we felt like, number one, best represented our community. and, and, And from that, then how do we not only inspire the people of our community to want to participate in RAGBRAI and want to come out for RAGBRAI, want to volunteer, all of those things. But then how do we also incorporate a theme and a logo that the the writers, which is what the event is for, um, that they know they're going to have a good time when they arrive in Fairfield and that they walk away from Fairfield knowing what our town was about and, and, and they get to experience the true Fairfield. And, and Josie is a graphic design artist. Um, uh, bringing all these ideas together to put together a visual, uh, what, what's that process like from an artist standpoint? Well, if it's really a fun idea, it comes to life pretty easy. And this was actually one of the easier logos that I've done. I just kind of jotted down different parts of it that I wanted to incorporate into it. And it was actually really easy because it's fun. So, Okay. So um, th- there was a lot of input from a lot of people. There was a lot of things went through the uh, through the hopper through the mill the hopper the, the hopper hoppa. through the hopper <laughs> and uh, when it was all said and done uh, let's uh, I guess uh, reveal what our theme this year is. Well, our our 2013 theme for Ra- Fairfield Rag Bri will be Cirque de Fairfield Defying Gravity with a tagline of Hold on to your handlebars, and uh, that hold on to your handlebars we think is really key to the the theme and the logo um, because we feel like it's a call to action and that not only is it a call to action to um, the writers to literally get prepared and be ready for when you come to Fairfield because it's going to be fun and you're going to have a good time. Um, But we also thought it was a good play on words for our uh, citizens to be able to use the the iconic handlebar mustache, which is very trendy and very popular right now, um, in a variety of different ways. And so we hope that that little tiny thing will become an iconic piece of this event. Um, and we have a lot of things planned around that, that item. Um, so I think that'll be a, a fun piece of this. Uh, now, the, the theme and the logo is uh, integral not just for the riders, but the community as well, because this is a rallying point for the community to come together and uh, um, decorate and be a part of it and make it a community party. Right, and, and, and the, the Cirque de Fairfield, um, we thought that a circus theme was unique and that it was very encompassing. It gave people a lot of opportunity to express themselves and to, to figure out a way to be a part of it. It literally is a big top of, of, of opportunity for people to participate. But by calling it the Cirque de, it, it took it to an elevated platform where we felt like it, it, it um, would hopefully inspire the artists that so very well represent Fairfield that it would inspire them to also get involved because we know that we have various you know almost circus sideshow type acts already in Fairfield just waiting for the opportunity to to perform and to be out in the public and and to engage them so we thought like this was a great way to bring them out get them involved and then hopefully inspire the community on top of that that we already have Cirque du Soleil former members of Cirque du Soleil in town (laughs) yes (laughs) and that's really and that's really where we took the the inspiration from is that that it was that 1920s sort of classic Cirque um, theme and then with the modern twist of the Cirque du Soleil who does it so beautifully with their artistry and, and magic 
Now I want to uh, direct people to exploreseiowa.com, the uh, website of uh, KMCD Classic 96. I believe as we speak, we're getting the uh, logo uploaded there. It'll be your first time to see it in the public. We also want to let you know that uh, there will be a uh, actually public unveiling at 9 o'clock today at the Fairfield Arson Convention Center, so you can see it there as well. And uh, Josie, you mentioned this was k- kind of uh, fell together as a as a logo, as a um, as a visual. Um, um, maybe you can describe it a little bit in for us here. You know, a picture is worth a thousand words, but All a right. thousand <laughs> words is worth a thousand words too. <laughs> we don't well, have that much time, but well, we Fairfield is quirky. You know, it's really yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, the logo really says that about us. It's just it's fun. It's over the top. It's silly. It's you know, and the whole, when we were talking about all this, the whole circus thing, just because of the street, I mean, at some of the art walks you see people, you know, throwing the, the flamethrowers and, you know, acrobatic acts. And we've got a lot of really cool, fun people that have already stepped up and said, oh, yeah, I'd love to be part of it. And it's just really exciting. So I think because we did have a thousand meetings, we did. <laughs> our brain cells were <laughs> trying to kill each other off and... But it, it just really, I don't know, it was just really easy. I mean, we've got, um, there's a big bike tire and it has wings coming out of it with a, a top hat and the giant handlebar mustache and the quirky little eyes. And then we have birds and other things for defining gravity and, you know, so. And, th- and that defining gravity part, it, too, to kind of explain that is we really felt like that it, it, it was challenging people to rise up and, and to really go beyond what a they think they're what Fairfield is capable of doing. Let, let's start there, but then also just being able to exceed the expectations of the the twenty thirty thousand people that are coming for Ragbri. Um, we we want them to walk away with just a mind blowing experience from Fairfield, and um, and we felt like this theme and this logo was the 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 platform to which that could could evolve from. Um, that that we really wanted people to get involved and be able to make something their own, figure out a way that within their own talents and their own experiences that they could bring something to the event. Well, I have good news and bad news for you. Yes. <laughs> the, the good news is, is the logo and theme is now done. Yes. You, you know that, right? Yes. You know what the bad news is, don't you? We have to execute. Yeah, we have to execute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's so, the, 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 hard, part. the hard work's ahead of us. But that is, you know, but that actually, we kind of felt like that the theme and the logo what like i said was the platform to really it literally is the tire to pavement to get the the ball rolling that it it was the call to action for people to now that they have a framework they know what what their their parameters are what the theme is then they can figure out how it is they best utilize their own talents and their own resources to bring something to this event now you mentioned call to action this is now um publicity chair and and i know that you're going to be doing uh a series of it's called a series of um are these open meetings like on Saturdays that you're doing? Uh, how, how's this going to work for the, 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 the community to be involved? Okay. Um, well, first and foremost, uh, we have a Facebook page, and it's Fairfield Rag Bri 2013. You can, if you're on Facebook, search that out, like us, and that's going to be the, one of the best ways to get the most up-to-date information from us. The Saturday morning meetings really are not necessarily open to the public because we do have some things that we, you know, that we try to make sure that it gets released to the public in a timely fashion. But... Um, There will be opportunities for the public to be involved. I know that we are planning sort of a town hall kickoff informational rally sort of thing to come in hopefully in the month of April, I think, is where we're tentatively planning that. Um, But that'll be also a great time to hopefully get T-shirts bought for the first time and to start doing some of that fundraising and excitement building sort of things. But really beyond that... um, Taking the opportunity to, to find a committee that you can serve on is, a, is one of the best ways to, to get involved with RAGBRAI right now. There are 30 committees working to pull this event together. This is unlike any other event that, we're, that Fairfield has hosted. Uh, really in the past, I think it's dramatically different from the event the last time it was here. Um, I, I, really, I, I don't think any of us think that those two things compare anymore, that it's been so long, that they're very different. So get on a committee. Get involved, and you can contact Terry at the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Um, she'll be able to kind of point you into a direction to a committee head who can best utilize your talents and your resources and all of the things that you wish to contribute. 
Josie, I, I want to say that uh, last week when I had got a sneak peek at the uh, the logo, I thought, wow, this, I mean, again, you've stepped up and done a great job. And, and uh, it'll be on uh, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of shirts and, and posters and things like that. So uh, job well done. You've, you did a great job representing Fairfield, what, what the rag ride we're coming to town is all about. And, and let Thank me just you. add that, that, that certainly this logo and this theme, she was integral to this. And I don't know that we would have this if it were not for her. She was a late comer to the scene, too, wasn't she? Lifesaver. Lifesaver. Life <laughs> All right. Uh, Dennis, Josie, thanks for your time. And, again, uh, go online to explore SCIowa.com. Is the logo up on the Facebook page yet? Uh, do we it know? will be today. It will be today. It will be today. Facebook slash Fairfield Rag Rye 2013. And don't forget to have uh, sort of a public unveiling at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center a little bit later on this morning, about 9 o'clock. Guys, thanks a lot for coming in. Thank you for see having you at us. The next, see you at the next meeting.